Hi, I'm Rob Shalinor, the new superintendent of the William S. Hart Union High School District. Today I'd like to talk to you about Castaic High School. This has been a, prog a process that's gone on for a number of years and it's something that's really important to the community of, of Santa Clarita. As you all know that uh, this is uh, really a key decision that the Hart Board has made just recently to select the Romero Canyon property. Uh, throughout the years, the, the board has been very diligent in looking at several pieces of property and just a couple of weeks ago, they selected the Romero Canyon. That process was taken very seriously. We looked at a number of factors and quite frankly, it came down to the confidence the board had in Larry Rasmussen to get the project completed on time and on budget. We got it down to two sites, the Romero Canyon site and Hasley Sloan. While the Hasley Sloan property was equally as, as acceptable to the board, it really came down to Larry is a developer and he is going to work side by side with the school district in selecting the, the proper strategies to get the school built on time and to get the, the facility up and ready to serve the students at Cast A. We looked at the issues of fatal flaws. Uh, as we went through that process, neither property had fatal flaws that couldn't be mitigated through construction and through uh, various engineering process. So it really came down to how can we get that school built in 2013. So we're ready to move forward. Uh, we have had uh, several meetings with uh, Mr. Rasmussen and his team. We're now ready to um, get into the final phases of negotiations on price. We're also looking at um, the environmental impact report, that whole process, and hopefully that'll go along with um, uh, in a very smooth fashion. Uh, currently, uh, we're about to begin borings uh, to ensure that the landslides uh, that are up on the canyon uh, can be mitigated properly and there'll be no uh, concerns of safety or facility issues due to unstable soils. Um, once we get that process done, we're going to begin the, the architect selection process. Uh, we have a short list of architects now, and we'll sit down with those folks and begin designing the school. We're going to be designing a school that really needs to serve the needs of Castaic for the next 50 years. So while there may not be a lot of students identified for Castaic High School in August of 2013, we need to look beyond that to determine how many students might we serve in five years, in 10 years, in 50 years. And so consequently, the plan is to build a core facility that will serve 2,500 to 3,000 students. And that's going to take some, uh, some very serious and, and careful planning to do that. Now fortunately, the Hart District has been in the business of building schools. We have our two newest high schools, West Ranch and Golden Valley, that have been built recently. We can use that experience to ensure that we're going to meet the needs of the community and the staff. Uh, we've gathered input from the staff and we'll continue doing that to make sure that we're building the facility that um, will truly meet the educational, academic, and athletic needs of those that we serve. The timeline is uh, we're scheduled to open in 2000, August of 2013, so there's a lot to do in the very near future. Um, we will be in escrow on the property for approximately one year. We'll be in design phase. We'll start that simultaneously. And if everything goes according to plan, we should be able to begin construction in about 18 months. And then the process for, for building um, if it moves along well, we'll be ready to go in August of 2013. Folks, thank you uh, for allowing me to come into your homes today and talk to you about something that's very critical to, um, to this entire valley. Uh, we're excited about the project at Castaic uh, to build that high school, and we know it's going to be a wonderful facility for many years to come. Thank you.